Hey guys, Bill C. Mattel from the BBZ TV. In depth look at the new 2015 Bass Cat Caracal. I just got this bad boy. We're going to go through it. We're going to look at some rod boxes. We're going to look at some uh, compartments. We're going to look at the battery compartments. We're going to look at the live wells. We're going to do kind of an overall view of the boat. Some pros and cons. I'm going to give it to you straight here at the BBZ TV. But as of right now, I'm pretty darn impressed. So let's take a look at the uh, new Bass Cat. 2015 Caracal. Okay guys, real quick, we have a 198 Bass Cat with a 96 inch beam. It's powered by the new Mercury Pro XS 225 Torque Master. I got my trusty power poles back in the back. Um, we have it paired up with the 109 Motor Guide and absolutely have the top of the line Lowrance HDS2 Touch Electronics. Uh, the front and back so I mean this thing is ready to rock and roll the really cool thing about it is the layout on this boat is really incredible um, it's got a massive front deck even though it's a 96 inch beam from the outside of the boat we're looking at and I'm going to show you something really cool I brought the uh, I brought the rulers to give you some depth in a measurement check this out we're looking at right behind the pedestal seat on the inside dimension, we're looking at five feet, eight inches. This thing has a massive front deck. So as you guys can see, it was a five and a half feet up front. Back here, we're looking across the back for your co-anglers or your wife or your friends. We're looking at six and a half foot across. So even though we're looking at a 96 inch beam for this boat, you got six and a half feet in back and five and a half feet in front of all office, all workspace. Actually, what we're going to do right now, we're going to just start from the front, bottom, and up. The biggest thing is, is we got the custom trailers that Bass Cat builds exclusively for their boats for whatever style it is. These are handmade in the factory. Man, they are set up. We have an incredible step bar handle. This thing will get you up in and out of the boat especially if you fish a lot by yourself great uh, lockdown system I always get the uh, spare hub and a spare tire and we go down and it is just a really clean trailer and what this does is it it's uh, nothing extra nothing too short I mean this trailer is built specifically for the uh, for this uh, caracal we got some really cool rims that uh, Bass Cat put on this and on the back side down here we have the the uh, tie strap and the real cool thing is i have a, a double brake system on both of these tires so i mean i have some definite stopping power with this boat okay guys the biggest thing is is on the bottom of this boat it's such a wide boat it doesn't have a real deep v on it it's actually it's got a really cool look to it but what it does is on the outside compartments here it actually shallows up the depth of it when you open them up um, there's a lot of room but just be cautious that you're looking at you're only looking at about a nine and a nine nine inches on depth nine to ten inches on depth back here so you're not going to be able to put a lot of really big bulky stuff in here but it does have a lot of room for you know a spare trolling motor all your life vest, utility boxes, spare spare props, all the equipment you could think of, extra rods. So um, it's not deep where you, you couldn't put a really bulky, like the front pedestal seat. I can't get in here. I can't close the rod box. So there's some things to think about. You remember you got about 10 inches of depth on it, but it's got a lot of room. Now we got the rod box out here in the center. It's very easy to access during a tournament. Now this is cool. What we got is we have 10 spots for rods in containers and the tubes. And we have an additional five on the bottom that you can put rod sleeves on. So we have up to 15 rod capability in this rod box. We come up here to the day box. Day box really cool because there's so many times when we're flipping, pitching, throwing jigs, trailers, worms, rubber worms. And you just want a little supply of stock up here where you don't have to run back and forth in the boat, open up compartments. You could put a good little amount of uh, equipment down here. 
So that's a really cool little feature. Or the front box right here, got a lot of storage room in here. Um, there's actually a step down. This is just the way the hull is on bottom. So we're looking at, you got a good 13 to 14 inches on the base to put a bunch of boxes in and your step up. We're looking right about a little over maybe about nine inches on here. So there's a lot of room to get a lot of stuff. You can actually put some stuff up around the seat pedals too. So a lot of storage in the front compartment. Come back here to the back compartment. Now this is just a massive box here. We got uh, almost 15 inches, almost almost 16 inches of a just a huge, huge massive box to put anything you want up here. So there's a lot of storage on this side. And then we go right back into the starboard <coughs> box. Again, like I said, there's a lot of room here. It's just, you got a shallower depth here where you're looking at about 10 inches of depth on this box. And crossways, you know, you got a good 16 inches to play with. So a lot of room. So on the front part of this boat, you got a lot of room, a lot of storage options. Um, there is a cool thing, a cool feature they put over here. And what this is, is it's basically a utility slot. You're supposed to be able to put your net here. Handle goes in first. You have your net up on this side. You have places to put your screwdriver, or um, pliers and scissors with one of the boat uh, boards for uh, measuring. The biggest concern I have on this, I've already tried it. Um, it's specialized for certain nets. Um, I do have a few nets that with the yoke that it will not fit down here completely. And the ones that did fit down into it, the screws, you gotta be real careful. The screws on the back side, they actually poke out. And there's a little, the, the tips of the screws are on the underneath side and they're poked out. So when I put my net underneath it, every time it caught those screws and I could get my net out. So on these, what I did is I backed out the screws. I cut the tips of the screws off. So there's no chance of my net catching underneath and now it's a viable it's a viable tool especially fishing by myself it keeps the net really handy for me that i can reach down and get um the thing i would just caution with tools on this side is we lay a lot of rods on this side of the boat and i'm just really nervous of line fishing line braid or anything touching anything sharp or metal so um I like the idea, the concept sounds, you know, good, but uh, there are some questions that I'm going to look at uh, as I continue to fish with the boat, and I'll give, give you guys updates on this. Now we're going to come back here, really cool, we have two huge compartments for food. We have a, a wet box that I know I can get 20 or 30 bottles of water or Gatorade in there, and then I have a dry box over here for sandwiches and chips and everything that keeps it... Uh, nice and dry so we do have a uh, two really good usable boxes for uh, food and rations during a long day out on the water now we come over here to the co-angler side um, really nice setup with uh, the accessibility of five rods at their advantage but opening up this box on this side they do have capability of putting four extra rods underneath Okay, we have the step back here. Um, there is a hidden compartment in the step when you pop this up Lid comes up and you actually have it's not a dry compartment, but you do have a compartment that you uh, If you want to put some tools or something in there or even a waterproof case for your your phone and stuff you have that capability We go right back in in to to really deep the angle of this this triangle live well is very interesting it's got a lot of depth in it. We're looking at, uh, we got a good 24 inches across. I mean, these, this thing, unless you catch an absolute monster monster, um, you're gonna be able to put uh, quite a few fish in here. I had no problem putting a 50 pound limit in here at all. Okay, we have the back driver compartment that uh, is a little bit of a different angle, but man, you have a lot of room back here. To the passenger side, now what they did is there's not a compartment back here for the passenger 
they have the sea monster units mounted for my power poles and that takes up some of the room back here what I did is I mounted a bracket that gives me 12 inches by 10 inches across and 10 inches deep that I could actually put a waterproof box back here what I did is I created a little extra space for me but a uh, lot of room now when we go to the back compartment you're gonna see a ton of room here's the crazy part for a back of a boat we're gonna open this up and we just have a ton of room in the back um, 36 volt system here we have the Odyssey for the main cranking battery now the guys over at Boatmasters in Livermore man Nate Mike they did a phenomenal job they wired this boat up <coughs> fuel tank I have a uh, single 10 gallon fuel tank back here and I have 33 underneath the seat so I got 43 gallons of fuel for the boat which is plenty for me if you do fish really really big water bass cat does have an option to come over here into this back corner spot and saddle put another tank in here um, which gives you extra fuel but just a massive massive amount of storage space if you need it or just room in the back now I know you're probably looking at it and you're going where's the oil compartment well when you lift up this back lid right here there's a side lid right here with the little metal clasp and you open it up and back there over on the side in its own little clean compartment you have your three gallons of oil for your Merc so um, really cool idea they've used a lot of the space very wisely in the caracal um, the other cool thing about it is you come over here you take this bungee off and this back lid slips right out really super easy um, if you need to do any work down there but now we're getting over to the cockpit side of things I'm a big guy I'm 6'2 and you can sit down in these boats and there's just so much room um, Basscat makes for these boats it's just a really clean clean layout my favorite unit the Lawrence HDS 12 Gen 2 touch I have an HDS 7 down here um, I, I use that more for my instruments I definitely use this for my mapping but this is just a really clean clean layout for a boat um, and man you just can't go wrong with that but you know after talking about this let's go back and I'm going to show you the uh, the horsepower the the real the real ponies on this boat that uh, take it to the next level now we're coming back to the back part of the boat and here is the jewels two very very important things that I have in boat is one is a really good motor I got the Mercury Pro XS torque master it's a little bit higher in has a little bit more uh, Umph to it for this uh, boat and one of my favorite tools of all time is the power pole I have two eight foot blades on it the, <clears throat> I'm running a 25 pitch fury on the uh, mercury hey guys that's a pretty good breakdown of the new 2015 bass cat caracal you know it's power I'm very excited this is a cool boat that bass cats came out with and I'm glad I'm one of the guys out here on the west coast running it and we're going to try to keep you in the BBZ, so stay tuned and we'll catch you next time out on the water.